Hi everyone, this is Carla. I'm getting started on my Christmas cards and I wanted to share with you this Anna Griffin Christmas China Cabinet Card Making Kit. Now I had the first China Cabinet Card Making Kit and it was adorable. I mean, I loved it. Adorable really doesn't do it justice. It was beautiful, beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to doing this uh, Christmas China cabinet card making kit. Now, the thing with this kit is it does not come with these dies. These dies come in the original China cabinet card making kit and they work with this set. However, you can go onto her website and I tried to get it to link and I couldn't. I'm working on it, ladies. I am so sorry. I know that's very important to get those links, but I'm going back and forth between my phone and my computer and sometimes I I don't know. I don't can't get it to connect. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, you can get this on her website it is in stock and it's $23 so if you wanted to get this card making kit and you need these dies to go with it you could go on there and get those dies now I'm going to show you just a little bit before we make a card of what comes with the kit okay you get of course you get your little kind of example sheet your little uh, cards that she's made ahead of time if you want to model some of those after those or you know you can do like me and just kind of make up your own as you go because that's what makes it fun and you also get okay let's see these are the cards you get 20 let's see what the patterns are you get the tree oh that's pretty of a mistletoe bell. This looks like a plate. A little greenery. That kind of looks like a plate. Same here. That um, gold foil embossing on there. This has got the holly. Some more holly and red designs with the foiling. More holly, just kind of a lattice around the edges. And, oh, there's Santa. That's cute. However, I will say most of the time you end up covering the center. So if you don't want to cover him, you could just do the outside of that. And our last one is more holly. So very pretty card bases. You also get with that, um, these are like, I think, matching circles that go with the inside. And it's always fun to pop these up with foam tape, I think. You can always pop those up. That, I remember seeing that. Remember seeing that. Now that one's different, the gold. And that's the way the other kit came. It came with some gold ones you can use. There's the red and the tree. They're stickers, so they're thick. <laughs> and I don't uh, know if they all match. That one does. I remember that one. I remember this one. Yes, I remember this one. I like that one a lot. There's that one. This is more gold. And there's the holly one. Yeah, so you can see, get lots of different little plates, I'm gonna call those, to go on your cards. And you get this paper. She's provided paper that, I'm gonna move this down a little. That coordinates with the cards. There's your hollies, some greens, some reds, some pattern reds. There's some gold paper. Um, well, I can't get those apart. Music. And let's see. Here's 
snowflakes and red snowflakes some red oh i'm seeing on the back it's solid so you can either use the print or the solid and we come back to some more reds and lastly some more greens that's kind of a texture on both sides i don't know if you can kind of see that this has got that kind of um yeah i think they're like uh leaves greenery oh that's neat so you've got a lot of neat paper to choose from and of course you get your little bag of christmas sentiments is the season sending joy you get um i love that she's including this in the kit I mean, the kits can be a little bit pricey but when you consider all you get with it you don't have to order extra paper and extra you know mats this is all gold so we'll be using all gold for that unless you have others you want to work in sometimes i do that but i think the gold for these will be perfect and look at all these embellishments i can't wait to see all these these just look absolutely gorgeous i will probably get some little trays or something to put these on let's just take some of these out oh there's some little victorian trees roses i love those mixed in with her christmas um embellishments oh those are edged in the gold the holly and we've got some wreaths in here i'm sticking to everything with that adhesive on there let's just pull out some of these see what we got lots of greenery and i love greenery you got to have greenery just to kind of set it up oh these wreaths can see how these work back to some of the prints on the plates. Here's a different tree. Oop. Some more roses. Here's some poinsettias. And we've got some gold embellishments. We can have like some pine leaves. That's kind of different for her. I like that. I think that's really pretty. So I've got a lot of embellishments to use. And the other thing that I just love, love, love that she put in here are these inserts for the inside of your card. Let's see what some of these say. Peace and joy to you this Christmas. I love these because it's always hard to try to stamp and you don't want to mess it up. May the miracle of Christmas fill your heart. I'm just going to pull some of these out. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And let's do one more. See what it says. Going the opposite direction. May your Christmas be filled with love and happiness. For best wishes for a very Merry Christmas. So you can see there's an assortment of nice sentiments and it still gives you uh, room to write on the card if you want to write a message in there. Oh, I love this kit. Okay, so now let's get started. So what I've done is I went ahead and I made nine of the cards and then I cut out the pieces to show you how I'm going to put those together. Um, for my 10th card, I'm trying to make 10 cards from the kits I have. And then I have some dies and things that I want to make cards from. I'm getting all excited, kind of fun. All right, so the first thing I did was I used these corner pieces right here. And I cut out four little corner pieces. So we're going to add those on. That is from the original china cabinet die and like i said if you go to um, anna griffin's website you can purchase that die to use with this for um let's see what i do with my pen here Oop. for 23 dollars that's not bad not really for all the little pieces you get get my glue bottle working here and I'm gonna put these get these glued on I 
Gosh, it just seems like Thanksgiving's gonna be here and then Christmas. It's gonna be so nice this year to be able to really celebrate Christmas and not be under all the restrictions. And I know last year when I went to my craft fair, I came home and a few days after I came home, I came down with COVID. It wasn't from the craft fair. Apparently, um, my husband and some of his brothers, they had had it and, you know, I caught it from him. So, anyway, I'm glad that's over with. So, let's go ahead and get these on. going through my dies and I have this die from Anna Griffin that I'm really excited about doing it's Santa Slay and it's an easel card so I'm really excited to put that together I think that will be cute really cute I was trying to think last year my I think my uh, best-selling card was an Anna Griffin I think it was the Papa Christmas tree, and it was really cute too. Okay, I'm putting these right in that little green corner. Whoop, that didn't work. Let's come back, put that on a little better. There, that will stick. Now, next thing you want to do is to this die when you cut it out you get this piece so i'm going to take this piece and pop it down put this glue around these edges oh i was telling you about my little grandson talking at halloween and another thing um we've been getting all these little christmas catalogs and you probably have two from all the little stores that have toys and, you know, little educational games and things for children. And he loves trains, wheels that go around, cars, uh, airplanes, helicopters, <laughs> all those little boy toys. But anyway, we had gotten this one magazine and he found uh something in there it it looks like maybe a helicopter but it's actually a drone he's only four but he got so excited because it shows it with a, a track that it can go around or i don't quite understand it but he'll take that magazine to papa and he'll say i want that one and so for him to say that, that's really cool too. We're just so excited. And when he got ready to go home, he wanted the present magazine so he could take it home and look at that. So I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, next we're gonna add this little piece that comes with the kit. And I'm gonna put some foam squares on that. Just pop that up a little bit. All right, there, there. And I'll put one here. Didn't get those very even, did I? Maybe a couple more there and there. I think that'll do it. I was at Hobby Lobby, um, gosh, Saturday, I guess. And I cannot believe how busy it was. People were buying all kinds of Christmas decorations. They really had some cute ones. And I thought, I wonder, you know, if they're doing that because they're afraid they might not be able to get some because it is a little bit early. Or, you know, because last year, I don't know if people did as much, but anyway, they were so busy, busy, busy. Let me see, got all those off in here. There we go. All right, 
Now I'm gonna, oh, sorry, hit my light. <laughs> I'm gonna put this right here in the center, kind of center that up. That stands up a little bit. And then this wreath came with the kit. I'm gonna add that right there. I like the way she puts stickers on her uh, in her kit so you can just take off that paper and like I said though if I'm going to be selling these I'm gonna put extra glue on there because I do not want them to fall off but the stickers would probably hold they're very sticky now the next thing I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take this little piece that I had cut out of uh, this die that came with the kit, not with the kit, but with the uh, original China cabinet kit. And I'm gonna take, hmm, let's see. I think it just kind of sits on top of there. So I'm trying to think where I wanna put the glue. I think I'll just put it around the edges. Just need that to stick on so I cut this out it's not a sticker so I do want it to stick to that I'm seeing a couple little pieces here that didn't get punched out let's just come up here and get that one out there we go now let's just kind of drop this down and I can move it a little since the glue's wet how does that look is that kind of yeah that looks good centered on there good enough just Make sure it's down enough to stick. And then we're going to come here and get this little sentiment that says Christmas Blessings. And add that. Right in the center. And this little piece, I cut out a solid piece with this, a shadow layer. And then I decided I didn't want it to be a shadow layer. And I put this over. And this came out after I used this, this uh, more ornate dye on it. And I'm going to just see what this looks like. If I can get this to go around the... Uh, Oh, I like that. See how that just gives that a little bit of a pop? Just that little bitty thing there. So I'm going to add some glue all around this. The trick with this is you have such a small amount of glue that you want to get it on there before the glue dries. All right, let's come up here. And let's try it. Just gonna line it up with the curves. This would be like this. And I'm gonna push these kind of around very carefully. I think I can just fit that around the edges. Ooh, I like that. Doesn't that look neat? Just have that little bit of red come around there. Let me see if fit in there. Right there, it's like, comes, does it come in a little or something? Maybe this needs to come over a little. I don't know. That's good enough. I think that just gives that little bit of pop on there. I like that. And then the other embellishments, the only other one I'm going to put on there uh, is this little tree. I'm going to add down here, but I need some foam squares to kind of pop that out and I'm going to take the sticker back off of this and let's put some foam squares these are the foam squares that Anna Griffin includes with her 
um, kits and things. So they're not quite as tall as the other ones I were using. And I'm not sure where I got those. Because usually if I'm out and about, I'll just pick some up and put them in my drawer. And so I keep, you know, some on hand all the time. Now I'm going to need more over here. Let's put some over here. Might even need two on this side because this is going to be up a little ways since this is raised here. Let's go ahead. Let's take these off. These little pieces of paper. Here we go. There. And let me just see how that's going to work. Yeah, I'm going to need to put a double layer on this side. Let's just add another one on top. Let's take the backs off of these and see if that's going to work for us. I'm going to add some glue to the backs of these just so they'll for sure have some adhesive and then that glue dries with it. We should be good to go. All right, let's see. I take this. I want this down a little bit, like so. How does that look? That looks good. Now, the only other thing I'm going to put, I'm just going to add this little bit of, uh, kind of like a little swag. I'm just going to put it at the top up here. Probably about right there or up here. I think at the top looks better. All right, let's do that. on. And let's add that at the top. Cutest embellishments. Like I said, this one is new to me. I don't remember seeing that in anything that I have purchased from Anna Griffin. And I just love that. Just love it. Now, the only other thing is we're going to add the insert, and then I'm going to show you all the other cards that I've made. So, this card that we just completed says Christmas Blessings, and so I thought this would go well with that. May your Christmas be filled with love and happiness. Christmas Blessings. That, that's good. So, I'm going to take my ATG gun, and on the outside edge. I'm just going to run that down the side. And then we're going to open up the card. I'm just going to insert this. It's a piece of glue right there. Just going to insert this right on the edge and it she gives you a little room at the top and the bottom so you want to kind of center that up a little bit right on that score line fold just hold it like that and close your card so cut that up there there and just kind of give that a press and then you've got this beautiful card christmas blessings look at all the embellishments and how that shines and glitters beautiful and then when you open it up there's your insert may your christmas be filled with love and happiness now that is an elegant christmas card and on the back again she gives you a place to sign your name and so i'm going to sign my name and that one will be ready to go in the envelope Pretty. Now I'll show you the other ones that I made that came 
everything's from the kit. There's this one, Tis the Season. Merry Christmas Wishes. Okay, let's move these over here a little bit. This one is Sending Joy, and I like this green. It's a little bit different than this green. It's a little bit lighter. I think that's just very pretty, if you can tell on camera. And this one, Merry Christmas to you. Beautiful. Love the roses that she put in there with that. Joy to you. I think this is the one that I had originally cut that I went back and made this um, more decorative die so I could use that edging around that other card. Pretty. And this one says, Warm Christmas Wishes. Move those back a little bit. This is the one we already did. Merry Christmas. Now, I did use this poinsettia and this little um, figurine sticker from an older set of uh, stickers that I had of Christmas embellishments of hers. This is from her kit. Pretty. And this kind of looks a little bare to me. I may have to go back and see if I can put something in there. It's pretty though, it's a little plainer. But anyway, that's all the cards that I have made. There's 10 of them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, bye-bye.